Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to scrape any website's data into Airtable. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to parsehub.com. This is a free web scraper that is easy to use. As you can see here, you can see basically how to use this uh, you know, uh, free web scraper. What you need to do is you need to download this web scraper and then you will obviously need to extract uh, data from a website, a certain website that you want, right? Now, once you basically, uh, you know, as you can see, this is what what you need to do. You need to open a website. Uh, you can download the desktop app, choose a site to scrape the data from. Then you can click to select the data, right? Get data from multiple pages, right? And then you can download results via uh, JSON, Excel, or API, right? Um, you can download the CSV file as well. So once you have that CSV file, you'll go to Airtable right here. You'll go and click start from scratch. Now here, what you can do is uh, you can basically go to extensions, right? So go to extensions uh, and add an extension. Now here we'll need to add a uh, data. So we'll need to add a race or Yeah, we'll need to that add data fetcher right here. Click add, click add extension. Then we'll need to just wait a little bit. And uh, yeah, obviously we'll need to continue with Google. So just go and log in with your, with your Google account, right? Uh, right? Like that. And then once you're in, you will need to create your first request, right? Um, now this request can be named uh, web scraping or anything like that. And as you can see, this is called parse hub. So we'll go here and type in parse hub, as you can see. And then here we need to just uh, obviously find our API key, right? So we need to click here. And then as you can see, once you log in, once you sign in, you will see your API key, you will set your API key. And then here you can imp import a data from a project's latest run, right? And then you just click save and continue and you will be able to import the website data into Airtable, right? Uh, it's as easy as that. Guys, if you have any questions or maybe comments, uh, comment down below, but that's basically how you can import uh, and scrape any website's data into Airtable. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.